What's up guys? Okay, so we're gonna make another video here on a similar topic that I've done in the past and that is a backup script for your dedicated server. In this case, it's gonna be the Pal World server and I'm actually gonna do it um, on my Pal, World's, Pal World server live because I haven't done it yet. Um, on my Pal World, Pal World server, man, try that, say that Pal World a bunch of times really fast. It's kind of hard to do for some reason, but so um, it's the same kind of script that I've used in the past for my ARC servers and my Valheim servers, and it's literally just a local backup onto the same server as the Pal World server. So if you want it elsewhere, there's you'll just have to copy it off. But this at least this will get like some kind of cron job going that constantly backs up your uh, your uh, Pal World server. Um, you never know if somebody messes something up or I don't know you lose a bunch of junk. Who knows? Like it's happened in ARC where I'll lose a really good dinosaur, and I'm like, dude, I don't want to. I don't want to go get one of those again, so I would just cheat, if you will, and restore the database or, or whatever the cause is um, for why you'd want to restore it, but at least you have the option. So um, so one thing I did want to say is that uh, the way that this Pal World server is set up in Linux is how I did it in the video. So I made a video here called Installing Dedicated Pal World Server on Ubuntu, and so the same pathing structure that I'm going to show here is literally what I did in this video here. So... Um, so just in case it's a little bit different from what you have, um, then you just have to map the right paths to whatever it is that you did on your own build. If you don't have a Pal World server yet, you can follow my guide and install your own. All right, so let's get started. Also, um, the, all of this text that you see here that I'm going to copy paste over, you'll, you'll have this um, on my website. It'll be a link in the description of the video, and so you can just go get it and copy paste it. You don't have to type this stuff. You can literally just block it and put it in the file, which is what I'm going to do as well. I'm just going to copy paste this right in um, because it's basically the same thing um, that I had been using in the past. I just changed it to Pal World, and um, and that's basically it. Oh, and the and the the folder location. So on the Linux hosts, I don't know if this is the same on like a Windows Pal World server. If uh, the obviously the path's not the same, Linux Windows file systems are different, but I do wonder if it's like some subfolder called Pal World and then Pal and then Saved. I wonder if it's similar to that. The front piece of that uh, path would be different, but that's expected. All right, so let's get started. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and um, put this backup script in the home Steam folder believe that's where I'm going to put it. Let me look at my thing here. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So backup, backup. Yep. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and create a, a script. I'm going to use VI. Um, that's my favorite. You can also use nano if you think nano is easier. Like I'll do, let's do this. I'm going to edit two different files. I'll do one in VI and I'll do one in nano. So you can kind of see the difference. Nano is easier to navigate if you're not familiar with VI. I'm not honestly that familiar with VI. There are some people that are very good at it. You can do all kinds of crazy stuff in it. I know how to search. I know how to save. I know how to quit if I don't want to save my changes. I'm very basic kind of stuff, but I still prefer VI because it's very fast to use it. So I'm going to go ahead and go in insert mode by hitting I. I'm going to copy all this text here, and we're going to just right-click and paste it in. And I think it's all good, like systemctl, stop pal world, start pal world. Um, we're going to do a tar statement here that's actually going to do the backup. The destination is home steam backups folder, which we need to make that. Um, let's see, backup files and backup file name. Okay, so I actually need to quit this because I messed up. I'm currently signed in as root. I believe you're going to want to make this file as the steam uh, user and group. And so we're going to go ahead and switch user to steam first. So now I'm actually logged into steam. And uh, the Pal World service is, runs as Steam. All the files in the Pal World server folder are Steam, um, user Steam group. And so it's be best to just have everything the same. So let's go back and say VI again, backup.shell, insert, paste. All right, so now I've got uh, everything I wanted here. So I'm going to go ahead and hit escape out of insert, colon, WQ for right quit. Now we have a backup uh, shell file. Uh, script.sh and I'm going to go ahead and say chmod plus x backup which gives it the execute bit which means that you can execute this as a, a script. All right uh, the other thing that we want to do is create a, another shell script that uh, will clear the backups and and the reason for that is because these backups are going to run all the time and you're going to run out of disk space if you don't constantly like cycle out the old ones and so um, 
I think 30 days might be a little steep. Just depends on how much disk space you have. So like if you say DF-H, you can see I got uh, 12 gigs of available. Um, we can run the first backup and determine whether or not we can hold 30. I'm guessing we can because I, I'm pretty sure the uh, the the files themselves non-compressed are, are not that big, like, I don't know, 10 megs or something like that. So 10 megs and 12 gigs, I mean, you could hit hundreds of them. So it's fine that we keep 30 days worth. But let's go ahead and, and edit. I'm going to use Nano this time. I'm going to edit the clear backups.shell. So you can see Nano's a little bit different. I don't have to go into insert mode. Um, and the save and exit commands are, are different. So I'm going to go ahead and paste that in. And so basically what this is doing is it's it's finding every file under home steam backups. Don't change this path. If you change this path and you said like slash, it'll find every file that's 30 days or older and delete it. So you'd screw up your whole thing if you had the wrong path here. So we only want to search the backups folder because that's the folder that we want to delete old files from. So M time plus 30 means anything older than 30 days. And then execute the RM-F on the array of files that you find. And so essentially that's what that command does. So control O is a write out, which means save and write out. It's kind of funny, but that's what it is. And then you just hit control X to exit. So that's nano. So um, we're gonna have to do the same chmod plus X clear backup. And so now we have two different scripts, backup.sh and clear backups.sh. Um, so the next thing we wanna do is um, edit the cron tab. So cron tab is actually gonna be under as root, I believe. So uh, I don't think we can say cron, so the cron tab L will give you a list, no cron tab for Steam. I guess we wouldn't have to run it as root. We're gonna try this. So we're gonna say cron tab dash E. Um, and I don't wanna use nano for that. I'm gonna say vim, so vi. And this is the cron tab for the Steam user, okay? And what we wanna do is run home steam backup dot sh. And this is, this is a common um, scheduling format for cron jobs. And so let me open up a quick tab here called, uh, there's a cron guru website that I use a lot, crontab.guru, because I, uh, I don't, it's hard for me to guess like what these mean. I mean, I, you can kind of say like it's minutes, hours, and then uh, day of month and I don't know. I don't remember. It's, uh, you would think I would remember, but the reality is they're, they're listed here. It's so much easier to just like copy this and you just put it in here and it'll give you in English what it's going to do. So at three o'clock, basically every day. So at three o'clock, the next iteration is tomorrow at, you know, 3.15. At three o'clock in the morning, I'm going to run this script. Perfect. Nobody's playing on my Pal World server at 3 a.m. That's, that's uh, crazy late. So we're going to go ahead and, uh, and schedule the backup.sh at 3 o'clock. So um, I'm going to go ahead and hit escape. I'm going to go ahead and right quit. And now if I say cron tab dash L, I should have my cron tab script or my cron uh, execution here for backup.shell. And uh, so what, one thing I wanted to mention is in the backup shell file, it actually references the clear backups. So I put them in two different files. Yes, you could probably put them in the same one. I put them in two different ones so that I could run it separately if I wanted to clear backups on my own. That's the reason I have them in two shell files or shell scripts. You could technically just put the same command in the backup one. You don't have to have them separate like I did, but I thought it was uh, beneficial to do that. So what I'd like to do next is I want to go ahead and execute uh, the backup script. So we're going to go ahead and say... Uh, backup. I don't believe anybody's on my Pal World server. If they are, they're going to get bumped out. And uh, let's see what this. Oh, wait. We forgot one thing, right? So the one thing we did forget was I need to make the backup path location. So home steam backups. So we're going to go ahead and say make dir backups plural. Go to backups. Nothing in there. It's all owned by Steam. It's perfect. Let's go ahead and back this baby up and see what it does. Oh, right. So my bad guys. We're going to retract some of what we just did. Um, I can't start stop the services Steam. So that means in cron tab, I need um, I need to put it in as my root cron tab. So let's go back in the cron tab dash E. Let's uh, delete what we did here. Let's right quit. I'm going to exit out of Steam and go back to root in my uh, Linux box. And now we're going to say cron tab dash L. There's probably nothing there. Oh, no, there's my restart Pal world every night at 2. So 
We're gonna go ahead and edit that. I was having some issues. My Pal World server was getting like overwhelmed maybe or something. And my pets started getting really slow the longer it ran. And so I just rebooted it every night. And so instead of a rebooting the Pal World server just by itself, since the backup script does that, we're gonna go ahead and um, just replace that cron line with the backup script here. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that. We'll paste it in, hit escape, and I'm gonna go ahead and right quit. So. Now, what I should test is, even though everything there was done under the Steam user, um, including the backup scripts I made, I'm still going to run it as the root user because it has to start stop the service, and it's not going to be able to do that as a Steam user. So, let's go ahead and run backup.shell, and uh, hope it doesn't blow things up, and see what it does. Shouldn't be too long either, because I remember it being um, pretty small, so we'll see what happens here. It's gonna back up everything in the save folder. So that's all your config files if you had custom configs, which I haven't messed a ton with those personally. Um, and then it's gonna back up like your saved, um, um, actual saved, saved world, which I think is the largest file. So like, let's do a quick little thing here just to show you. So if I right click that and I say, uh, disk usage depth, uh, let's go like three. Yeah, let's go two depth and I'm gonna say human readable and, um, my bad. Let me let me change directory into this path, and then we'll say disk usage depth three or two. So it's going to go two folders deep and show me the size for each of those dash h for for human readable. In other words, instead of like a big number, it's going to say like megabytes, kilobytes, etc. So you can see the saved game is only seven point three megabytes. So if we go into like depth three, I think you'll actually see like the specific save. Um, up like instance, I guess that's what that big GUID is. So if we go ahead and, and change directory into that folder, you can see level.save. So this is the biggest file. So my assumption is that's the level data. So like everything you've completed in the world, all where all your placements are of all the objects um, that you have, um, you know, players, inventory, stuff like that. So um, all of that is in that file, I would imagine, because that's the biggest file in the whole thing. So. Let's go ahead and go all the way back to home Steam and let's go to backups, backups and see what's in there. So we have a backup file. Um, didn't compress a ton. I'm guessing that's because this level save is probably already compressed. I mean, you can see the size is almost identical, right? It's pretty close. And so um, my guess is this is a compressed file. So that's okay though. Um, it's only 7.6 megabytes. Um, can you do a dash H and it'll tell me LH and it'll tell me, yeah, 7.3 megs. So you can see um, it's not using uh, that much disk space, right? And so if we say DH, uh, DF dash H, we can see um, still have the same 12 gigabytes available. So we're going to be able to run this backup command easily 30 times without a problem. And, um, and just it'll automatically cycle any backups that are older than 30 days. So if you just make sure that if you want to restore something, if you want more than 30 days, go ahead and make more than 30 days. Um, you could also not back it up every night if you don't want. You could back it up. You change your cron schedule to back it up every weekend or who knows what your schedule would be. So it's up to you. But in this example, we're doing it daily at 3 a.m. And we're keeping 30 days of saved files. So one thing I did want to talk about really quick was this restoring a backup. This is an example. Um, I... I, uh, I suppose I could run through it if you guys, that's probably a good idea. Let me let me try this really quick, just so, so we know if the backup actually works. So one thing I wanted to look at, so we're not gonna remove my saved world. This is probably not the best approach for that. We're gonna go ahead and um, move saved. I'm gonna move saved to uh, saved old, just in case I screw this up. Like an rm-rf is obviously permanent. I mean, obviously we're hoping the backup worked, but uh, it would also be nice if um, <clears throat> um, I didn't screw up my PAL world and have to start over, right? And so the first command you need to do is let's stop the PAL world server because you can't move stuff while the files are open and red and active. There's locks on them. I'm going to go ahead and move the PAL world save folder to saved old. So now let's just do a quick ls dash la alias is uh, ll and let's go look at this folder. So if we look at this folder, you can see saved old, right? I just changed the name to put old in there, so no big deal. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna restore one of these um, backup files, and because when you when you tar them, it has the full path of the of the file uh, of each file um, that was zipped up or wrapped up into that 
that zips. And so we don't have to like extract it in a specific pal world folder. We can extract it at the root folder and it'll just populate into the right locations. So let's go to backups and let's look here and let's say tar XVF. Um, we're going to say home steam backups. Oh, actually I don't have to say that. Um, it's very interesting. Why do we have two backups? I don't remember making two of those. Uh, that's very weird in my opinion. I don't know why there's two, but we're going to go ahead and pick. Makes me wonder if like the time zone is wrong on my server and it literally just passed 3 a.m. I think that's what just happened. It just ran the cran job, cran job. I have the wrong time zone. I'm in GMT uh, zero and it thinks it's 3 a.m. right now. So that's pretty crazy. Um, so I'll have to fix the time zone thing. I have a video actually explains that and that's why we have two backup files. So my bad. So what we're going to do then is... Um, that's weird timing. Did I, did that thing happen like right when I renamed things? Maybe. So we're not going to restore the automatic one. I'm going to restore the one I ran from 258. So I'm going to go ahead and say tar XVF speeps. Ooh, I'm missing a T. And we're going to pick this guy. I'm going to tab complete it. We'll pick the two one. Um, we're going to say dash C slash. So we're going to restore it to the slash folder. And it should restore the saved folder within Homesteam Power Pal. So let's go ahead and run that. Ooh, that's fast. So now we're going to go ahead and go into this folder of Power World and Pal. And I have a saved folder. That's good news, right? And look at that. It even has the same permissions. So it, it kept the permissions of each file, which is good. Um, I did have a command here that do, does a ch own on that, just in case they were... Uh, change or something you can run it it's a good idea to make sure that every file in that whole folder is owned by steam and then we're going to go ahead and start pal world back up and it should work uh, that's a good test it's taking a little bit of time to start it so that's interesting but now we can also do a system ctl status pal world and you can see it's active and running so i would imagine it is okay um, you could also say a journal CTL unit dash U for the unit, like the service name. So that would be Pal World. And we can also check that uh, it is running as intended. So it's checking for updates. Um, and then, oh, some of these are old. Sorry, we got to go to the most recent one, March 15th. There we go. So, I mean, it looks pretty good. It obviously did some kind of update or update check. You can see the status there, but it didn't give me anything about like the Power World data, save data is bad or something. So I'm assuming that that worked. Um, yep. So, uh, so obviously I would only do the restore backup commands if needed. Obviously don't like test this on your production Power World server and get mad because you deleted crap. Um, also, it's probably a better idea to do this move statement versus the remove one because the remove is like, dude, it's going to happen. You're committed at that point. This is gone. This, at least you can move it back to saved and you still have the same old files. And so it's probably a better way to do it that way. So, um, yeah, so that's it. That at least will give you some backups to your Power World server in case you screw something up, you can restore them. So I hope this video was useful for you guys. I appreciate you watching. Have a good one.